So hello everyone. I hope I'm audible and visible. Can I just get a quick thumbs up if my audio video is fine? Let me just check if uh, you all can hear me properly and if my audio video is fine. So welcome all of you in this uh, upcoming session of Must Know Questions in Dermatology. Uh, I hope you all can hear me. My audio video is fine. So welcome in this session of image based dermatology. All of you, can I get a quick thumbs up for everyone? Can I get a quick so welcome all of you and uh, in this session of dermatology we will be discussing some must know images so i am dr cheshta garwal your neet pg educator on the best online platform that is an academy for this month the last week schedule is here so i request all of you to kindly use my code cheshta10 and get yourself enrolled now we have a all india neet pg 2022 test which is scheduled for 27th again requesting everyone to kindly use this code to get yourself We are also launching a PYQ on 23rd requesting all of you to please be live and we are launching an MBBS prof 1 we are launching an MBBS prof 1 i request all of you to kindly go ahead and get your subscription today we have two type of subscription one is plus which give you an access to an academy live classes and another is iconic which give you an access to both an academy and prep ladder i congratulate to all the students who have cleared their recent fmg exam we do have a lot of special classes uh, which are the free live classes on the app I request everyone to please uh, download the app and start watching these free live classes. Now we have uh, many new batches which are starting. That is a NEET PG high yield batch and FMG high yield batch. I would be requesting all of you to uh, kindly enroll yourself uh, on these batches. The prices are here for NEET PG subscription plus iconic and light. They might ask you for a code so that you can get. 10% discount and the code is cheshtar10 requesting all of you to kindly be a part of anaka so let's start with the first question of the today's session a female developed this lesion which increases in puberty in the size now i just want you to concentrate on the image so you can see that it is the shoulder part of the patient where you have increase here so please tell me what is this lesion a hyperpigmented lesion which is present on the scapular lesion what is the answer anybody can tell me the answer here anyone can tell me the answer here very nice it's a case of baker's nevus so please remember when a nevus suddenly increases in size during the puberty mainly on the shoulder region or mainly on the trunk with increased hypertrichosis or with increased hair over it Please remember it to be a case of Baker's nevus. Uh, I'm very sorry. Just a second. A child was recently put on a solid diet after being breastfed. Since birth, he is now present with peri oral vesicles, sparing the upper lip. Which of the following would be deficient? anyone can tell me the answer here very nice a patient who was recently a child who was recently put on a solid diet he developed the lesions mainly on the periorificial skin associated with diarrhea all of them is classical of zinc deficiency and this is a case of acrodermatitis enteropathica acrodermatitis enteropathica acrodermatitis enteropathica next question anjana sazam dr purva girl with itching oozing from the lesions of ear following wearing nickel earring what will be the diagnosis or how will you confirm the diagnosis in this patient
एनीवन वेरी वेल डन अमेजिंग नाउ हियर वी हैव अ पेशेंट विथ एलर्जी कॉन्टेक्ट डॉमेटाइटिस सेकेंडरी टू इयरिंग एंड प्लीज रिमेंबर वेन यू हैव एलर्जी कॉन्टेक्ट डॉमेटाइटिस यू हैव टू डू अ टेस्ट विच इज अ पैच टेस्ट इट इज बेस्ड ऑन टाइप फोर हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन विच इज नोन एज डिलेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी लाइकेनिफिकेशन अकर्स इन विच लेयर ऑफ स्किन लाइकेनिफिकेशन अकर्स इन विच लेयर ऑफ दी स्किन स्ट्रेटम लुसीडम कॉर्नियम ग्रानुलोसम स्ट्रेटम मालपीजियम वॉट इज द आंसर Lichenification occurs in which layer of the skin? Very nice. The answer to this question is option number four. The stratum malpighian will show thickening of. or shows thickening which presents clinically as lichenification so the answer is option number 4 not option number 2 it is the stratum malpighian that is the group of stratum basal and stratum spinosum together next question 12 year old boy with vesicles on the lips i hope you can see the image can you see this there are grouped grouped vesicles which you see in this patient grouped vesicles what is the answer Grouped vesicles on the angle of the mouth. What is the diagnosis? Yes, it is a case of herpes labialis, and you will do a Zeing smear to look for multinucleated giant cell. It's a case of herpes labialis, which is more frequently by HSV one, and when you do a Zeing smear, you will see multinucleated giant cells present. Anyone? What is the correct answer here? What is the correct answer here? Anyone? Amazing. The correct answer of this question is sebaceous nevus. that is actually the collection of the sebaceous glands which present as sebaceous nevus it's a benign condition there is a high rate of recurrence and that is why we usually do not prefer the removal of this because if we remove it there is a good probability that it will recur so very classical example of sebaceous nevus next question Eight year old child was brought by her parents with very dry skin on the lower legs four arms since last five years which worsened during winter on examination child has a very dry skin on both the lower extremities and elbow what is the diagnosis very nice please remember this is a characteristic feature of ichthyosis vulgaris which is an autosomal dominant type of ichthyosis next question 
let me just move this image can you tell me the answer here Which of the following is not associated with the given condition? Androgenic alopecia, hypothyroidism, Addison's disease, or diabetes mellitus? You want me to zoom it? So, yes. Look at the lesion. This is a patient on treatment. You can see depigmented patches with scale opt margins. Depigmented patches with scale opt margins. anyone very nice this is a case of vitiligo the one thing which is clear is the case of vitiligo please remember vitiligo is an autoimmune condition so it is usually associated with other autoimmune conditions like hypothyroidism like addison's disease like diabetes mellitus but androgenic alopecia is not an autoimmune condition so please remember the correct answer is option number one androgenic alopecia is because of end organ hypersensitivity where 5 alpha reductase enzyme is converting testosterone into 5 dihydroxy testosterone okay What is the correct answer here in this question? Patient with the bad nail hygiene presented with the sharp excruciating pain along the nail margin. On examining, we could see the redness, swelling of the nail, drainage of pus and watery discharge tinge with the blood is present. Nail is grown into the edge of the nail. What is the most likely diagnosis of this condition? Please remember the correct answer of this question is onychocryptosis, which is also known as in grown toenail so instead of going in a straight direction the nail also grows in sideways direction and this sideways direction the nail will press on the underlying nail bed which is very very painful so please remember this is a patient with in grown toenail or onychocryptosis cryptosis means hidden the nail growth is hidden okay onychocryptosis Moving to the next question. Uh, onychogryphosis, uh, Dr. Purva. Uh, okay. What is onychogryphosis? In onychogryphosis, one part of the nail grows more. And another part of the nail grow less. So nail will become like this. This is onychogryphosis. This is growing more compared to this part. Okay, that is onychogryphosis. Understood, Purva? While in onychocryptosis, the nail is growing like this also. And like if I draw it like this, it is growing in a forward direction plus in a different plane downwards also so it's different the plane is same here can i get a thumbs up from dr purva if you understood yes 
Now please tell me the answer here. Very nice. The answer here is favors. Now look at the image. There is a scarring type of alopecia which is very very clearly seen. In addition to this, can you see this yellow colored cup shaped scales on the scalp? Yellow colored cup shaped scales in a patient who is hailing from Kashmir. Please remember in Kashmir you see a lot of cases of favors which is an uh, inflammatory type of tenia secondary to trichophyton Sean Lenny. Okay. Next question. Which dermatome is most affected? Which dermatome is most affected? Which dermatome is most affected? Very nice. The correct answer of this question is the dermatome most affected in a patient of herpes zoster is thoracic. In this question, it is although looking like lumbar area, but in general, it is the thoracic which is the most frequently involved. Okay, so with this, we are done with the today's session. It was a brief session of 15 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed it. For more such questions, I would request you to download the app Use this code and subscribe to an academy to get 10% discount. You also have to subscribe this YouTube channel which is Let's Crack Neat PG. And we have a telegram group with the same name. So requesting all of you to please be there as well. If you like this video, please give me a quick thumbs up. And also give a thumbs up to this video. The next is for getting the notification of the classes, please press the bell icon. Thank you everyone. Good night. Take care.